There is a lot to the story Jerry Jones has written in his life. He bought the Dallas Cowboys for $140 million in 1989. Today, they are worth over $10 billion. In recent years, companies he is connected to have benefited from the Texas freeze, where 246 Texans passed away from frigid temps, and a power grid that Governor Greg Abbott simply does not wish to address to aid the folks he is supposed to protect. In the wake of the protests spurned by Minneapolis officers taking the life of resident George Floyd, Jones demanded his players stand for the anthem, toe the line, respect the flag, though as we have shown many times, the billionaire does not even care to abide by his own words. He is a heavy giver to many causes, like presidential candidate Donald Trump. Texas Governor Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who spouts the mainstream white supremacist great replacement theory, and a man who allegedly fired four whistleblowers and refuses a subpoena at every turn, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. The Cowboys partnered with Kyle Rittenhouse fave Black Rifle Coffee while paying out $2.4 million to team cheerleaders after allegations surfaced of voyeurism involving this man Richard Dalrymple. Then, Jones was sued for allegedly sticking his tongue down a woman's throat. Some pointed to Dan Snyder saying he has dirt on other NFL owners if he were turned on and forced to sell his Washington commanders. But it is the latest that has Jones in the spotlight. Months back, we learned of Alexandra Davis. Now, who exactly is Alexandra Davis, you might be asking, well... Via the fine reporting of ESPN's Don Van Nata, Davis filed a lawsuit against Jones alleging he slept with her mother, Cynthia Davis Spencer, back in 1995 when she was working for American Airlines. Davis's mother, estranged from her husband, were going through a divorce. Genetic testing showed Alexandra was not the prior husband's daughter. Thus, he was not mandated to pay child support. I'm going to go through all of this for you step by step. That's when Davis's mother told Jones he is the father. Thus, scrambling, Jerry said, look, I can't have kids right now. I got this other stuff going on. He was married to his wife in 1963. So the Dallas News would report, Jones bought Cynthia's silence to keep this completely out of the public eye. He does not want anyone running with the story. Meanwhile, I look back and I think about the, you know, the horrible stuff that they hear when they listen to rap music, the video games that they watch from a really early age. Davis works for this man, Republican Congressman Ronnie Jackson, who blamed rap music for gun violence, not, you know, guns. Basically, per the Dallas News, there was an agreement that was taking place. Jones provides financial support to Alexandra if they do not go public. Basically, they're buying silence at this point because Jones doesn't want any of this to affect his professional life, his personal life, his marriage, what have you. And funds were exchanged and trusts were set up. And Vanada recently reported of a new lawsuit filed by Alexander Davis alleging defamation against Gerald and his allies, conducting an onslaught of attacks against her based knowingly on false statements and accusations. Their names, Donald T. Jack Jr., an Arkansas lawyer and friend of Jerry Jones, and Jim Wilkinson, a confidant and Jones's outside counsel. Alexandra's lawyers, J.K. Gray, yes, it all rhymes, and Andrew Bergman wrote in their complaint, quote, not once did defendant Jones or any of his agents ever deny that plaintiff was defendant Jones's daughter. Instead, defendant Jones chose the avenue of calling his own daughter an extortionist merely to make his own public image less despicable by attempting to discredit plaintiff's reputation and character in the public eye. Also in the filing Davis's own words, which reads as follows. I've been falsely accused of a shakedown and extortion. In reality, I am a daughter who simply wants to acknowledge her father without fear of retribution. I will not stand by and let my father's actions or words define me or my future. Here's an interesting wrinkle, all right? Here's an interesting wrinkle. The paternity test has been um, delayed till May. When this happens, red flags should be raised and 
the bullet point to said flags being raised should be they're buying time. They're trying to either settle or they are putting together an investigation through their private investigators, finding as much dirt as they can on Alexandra, potentially bringing part of that dirt to light to garner public interest and sway public opinion to their side because guess what and also trying to put it off even longer potentially but i will say this if it is indeed the genetic testing what do we have to fear it seems like maybe we already have our answer i will wait we should all wait because do we know for sure no we don't but why would they be fighting this so hard right now with all of this information that we have there have also been you know trades uh barbs being made through the public of hey he won't acknowledge me and then jones's team saying no alexandra davis and her team put you know a note or a letter under the table at a dinner with one of my confidants jones's confidants saying they demand 20 million like there's so much going on here yet the thing that remains present and consistent is that alexandra davis is continuing this fight where she says she does not want money and she wants jerry jones to acknowledge her as one of his own i'll be paying close attention i will provide you with updates